the light in your eyes comes over me just like a sunrise you said a scene turn in my gray skies blue just like you always do I don't want you Look at all these phones that PMP is donating thanks to Gabe Cortina, the hero. Roger, let's head up to floor two. <laughs> <laughs> wow, look at all of this. Thank you so much. Dijon um, used to be one of my dope boys at Dobro, uh -huh. and he worked for me. He was homeless, living out of his car, and what happened was I took him in, and then he lived with me for some time. And while he lived with me, we worked on things, you know. Um, he lost his mom um, that, I think, that year prior to mm -hmm. cancer, unfortunately. And since then, he was just homeless. And his family helps him, but not really, you know. Um, losing his mom was a big deal. His dad lived in Santa Barbara. So then when he went to go visit his dad, he met this girl, Alondra, mm -hmm. which is his girlfriend. The goal is to empower them to really find their feet. And if we're, like, enabling too much or right. like spoiling too much or taking care of too much we kind of thwart that process so I know they've had it rough and we want to like really step in everywhere we can and um, but we also have to encourage them to meet us too so that they're growing and they're expanding right. and they're moving and, and you know I totally put it in the ball in the court I said look we got this job lined up for you we got some good people that are ready to help are you guys ready they said yes I said okay Called them last night at midnight dropping off the stuff. At 7 a.m. she was like, hey, we're getting ready. We're gonna pack up the tent. There's so many, like, yeah. and these two are just revolving and came back, but I'm like, let's get it. Yeah. Because I don't want them to become something that they could have had so much potential you know, coming. Um, but when we went into the uh, GMM, what we found out is that everybody's like super organized, right? And action oriented, right? So I figured, well, I'll ask, ask you guys right. and everybody follows through everybody's helping each other in fact uh, when junior was picking up copiers right uh -huh. he didn't have a truck so someone lent him a truck from another nonprofit, so he could end a driver and so he could come over and help us Pick do that yeah right and then um you know going forward i'll always be thinking about that so uh, how we can help now that dobro's been yeah. shut down they came in and really like gave opportunities, like you just had two of my kids today. There are two young adults that really needed an opportunity just to be around a different environment, even if it was a short period of time, and to see that other people are willing to help them out so they can see that there's possibility for an opportunity if they're willing to want it, you know? I mean, you realize it's actually not so much the kids, it is, it is the environment. You can set up good environments for them to succeed in, then they'll succeed. They, they might be able to come over here and uh, you know work part time, helping out, and then we just train them as we go along. Our journey to getting here and having you guys come uh, help out today was like it was a weird journey. It was a guidance of a lot of different things, and the goal is to uh, create a farm institute, not a homeless shelter, not a not a temporary housing facility but actual place where you can go and learn to be one with the land and learn how to not just heal yourself, but heal the planet along with it. Ended up here, because finally Mar picked us up. <laughs> 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 um, but we were waiting on trying to help Mar out and get, get, us so, get ourselves figured out and what we want to do. And um, I ran into Mar like a while ago with my car when I was homeless and then she helped me out doing deliveries and making my own food for that time and then coming over here um, it's finally great because now I like I wanted to like apply myself into doing something because in Santa Barbara the cops are bugging us about camping and all yeah. this and I just got a ticket about it oh yeah and they act like we don't want to work they act like all homeless people don't want to work for anything and just want to sit on our ass and not do anything. That's not the case. Because yeah. I like working because when we were just sitting down all day, I was like, I don't know what to do. I don't have school. I don't have a job. I'm just sitting here. I, I like being able to talk to a bunch of other people that were all doing the same thing. We're like, okay, I don't know how to do this. I'm like, okay, I can help you or you can help me. 
Mm -hmm. I like it. Okay. Like they are doing great. I mean, they came right up, ready to work. Uh -huh. um, Good attitude. Great. Oh my God, it's great attitude. Very cool. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh goodness. I, I mean, love them to death. If I ever, if I, if we're doing any more projects, I'm signing them up. Could have had a whole team of them. First, All I didn't right. really. I was like, well, I got to think of how I'm. What what I can help them get because I don't want them to take them back to Fresh Start or Dough Girl. Like I need them to have something they like. That's what it takes. It takes a, a bunch of people to put something together. Like, cause everybody plays a role.